Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel Emperor's Light to Row. It's me Tony back with your spiritual messages for today. Come in liking the video and subscribing to the channel so that we continue to grow. So uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. We're closer to the beginning of the year. And uh, yeah, hopefully all of your manifestations are coming true. I didn't realize that Tuesday for um, the 26th is a full moon. So I woke up this morning and the full moon was still out till about, till about maybe 8 a.m., 9 a.m. <laughs> that would be pushing it. But yeah, I didn't even realize. You know, I like looking up at full moons. Um, but yeah, so I want to put out a specific message today in regards to the full moon energies. I like putting out messages during the full moon. If you know anything about reading tarot, right? The magic hour, 3 a.m. The more <laughs> the more later it gets at night, the crazier the readings come out, right? The whole saying that the freaks come out at night. <laughs> but we're going to be using the moon and stars tarot deck, right? Synchronicities. I'm going to... Um, Pull some moon messages and some star messages for you guys before I start the readings. This will be like oracle messages, right? This particular deck comes with additional messages for each tarot card. So yeah, I'm gonna get into it for you guys today. And I apologize for those on the channel that they come to the channel and they like to <laughs> hear me reading and either my voice sounds low or the value sounds low. Or there's always noise and distractions in the background. Me, myself, I like it. I mean, it's atmosphere for me. Um, I learned to get over those types of things. I'm an Aries moon sign in my Western astrology birth chart. So just imagine me trying to learn how to meditate three years ago. And it was just like the most annoying thing. Getting, getting distracted by everything. So I had to learn how to either just block out everything. Or to focus on everything at once. And I kind of like... Um, listening to you know the world the atmosphere just focusing on everything at once you know getting an understanding getting that channel message from the universe right so I will be doing another message I want to actually go live finally today so if you guys are watching this um, tarot channel uh, during the afternoon time it's rush hour um, so again the atmosphere it's like right in the downtown area of Fort Lauderdale the courthouse is here the, 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 the library's here <laughs> all these fancy buildings and people are rushing to go in and get lunch so maybe you're watching this video during lunch during this time uh, hopefully you enjoy your 10-15 minutes you may need some to come back and watch the rest later because this one is going to be an extended message it tends to be about anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes and then yeah later I'm going to go live I'm going to try my best to go live right I'm supposed to go ahead and go live for you guys once we hit the 600 subscriber mark so yeah I'm even scouting some new tarot decks as well to begin the new year with and um, that's it let's take a look into your moon and star messages let's see what love um, well anything that's coming into the reading for today basically but well, we tend to pull love messages on this channel, right? It's typically what people come to tarot for. So. Just channeling you guys is in it. So let's go with a break deck message, and then we'll go with the moon and star uh, messages for those two cards. 333 three, three showing up on the clock. We got nine of swords, trauma, and seven of wands, resilience. So yeah, we could have a, someone in a very defensive posture at this time. Maybe they're concerned about their own health, maybe? physical physically or spiritually mm -hmm. or someone may be concerned about um, your physical or spiritual health hmm. either way take it how it resonates so let's get into it let's get into the deck that that <laughs> that opening or that beginning of this reading was I, I still feel weird energy I've been feeling weird energy for like the past almost the past week now I don't know if there's like new subscribers or if we have someone on the channel that has like a weird personality. <laughs> I don't know. But it's been strange lately. Nine of Swords. Let's take a look at the Nine of Swords first. There we go. On page 48, 12. So let's see, the Nine of Swords, keywords, insomnia, fright, and overthinking. 
Overthinking your situation or reliving past trauma, you are within a severe state of disharmony and may be losing sleep or suffering from nightmares. Anxiety and stress are leaving you feeling lost and disconnected from the everyday world. Your mind may have become your enemy just now, but look for the root of your problem and your triggers so that you can move forward. Your moon message. Release anxiety and fear with the moonlit meditation, allowing its gentle glow to wash away negativity. So yeah, man, take you a nice warm bath or cold, cold bath, however it feels, um, you know, however it resonates for you. You know, as adults, we take more showers as baths, right? We forgot what it feels like to soak our ass in a tub full of water, right? <laughs> With bubbles, because I, if I was to take a bath right now, I would definitely have bubbles in my shit, right? <laughs> It's probably been about, hmm, four years or so. <laughs> but yeah, we take these showers and we don't even realize. Sometimes we need to soak our whole body in the water to get fully clean. Uh, but yeah, Nine of Swords, that is your moon message. And what was under the Nine of Swords? The star card. Let's see, Seven of Wands. You have to look for the Seven of Wands. Under the Seven of Wands is the Three of Swords. So there's a lot of anxiety here, possibly heartbreak energy or a distraction here. Something that's, that was supposed to be of value turned out to be a distraction. Mm, that reminds me of the Four of Cups. We haven't even gotten to your reading yet. So the Seven of Wands, key words, defense, dignity, and boundaries. Okay. This card can signify the need to stand up for your own beliefs. Challenges and conflicts will present themselves, but you must take the high moral ground and act with dignity. You have the courage to stand up for what is right, both for yourself and for those who struggle to defend themselves. If you are searching for a job, persevere. If you're in a relationship, don't let your partner walk all over you. Set your own boundaries. It will be worth the win in the end. And it's another moon message, courtesy of the full moon. Take a stance and hold fast to defend yourself and your interests. Right? A game, because I, I feel like some of you guys didn't hear that. Take a stance and hold fast to defend yourself and your interests. Right? So there you have it. Your moon and star messages. Well, actually, it's two moon messages, if we were to be more exact. But finally, let's get into your messages for today. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Up for some cartomancy. Yeah, so it'll probably be 12, 12 in a couple minutes. <laughs> I won't be able to screenshot because I'm in the middle of recording at the time. So yeah, I'll be trying to, I'll be doing that live in the library, a bit more of a quieter area. And the plus about it is it won't shut off, or at least I don't think it will, it won't shut off at the halfway mark. <laughs> I may be able to do an hour-long live for you guys today. Get acquainted with some of you folks. It'll be the first live on the channel. Looking at a millennial guy. He has to be a millennial. Probably around my age or something like that. He's wearing a graphics tee with... Um, I don't even know which one of those kids... Um, cartoons it was obviously we grew up on those right like I recently started watching Rick and Morty when I was in the hospital a couple weeks ago I finally started watching that show Rick and Morty right we grew up on all of these shows like when we were kids we were watching what Johnny Bravo Powerpuff Girls Ed Ed and Eddie Ren and Stimpy and all that type of stuff these new kids they have these special kinds of cartoons Adventure Island and I don't even know. Even the names of some of these shows is wild. <laughs> but yeah. The graphic tees, man. I think I might start doing more of those. I actually had one that I wanted to wear this week. It was a, um, I had a Mario shirt, uh, Baby Mario on a Yoshi. And then what else did I have? Um, I, was it a Rick and Morty shirt? I think it was a Rick and Morty shirt. It was another one because I think I bought like three or four of them. But I ended up giving them away. <laughs> Hence, Merry Christmas. Anyways, grounding your messages for today now that we're 10 minutes into the reading. <laughs> Do I need to add uh, timestamps? 
we got the Queen of Swords, Libra Energy. So you could be dealing with a counselor, right? Um, mm, getting a channeled message. So this person may be a strong, silent type, right? And she's known to be a strong, silent type. Mm. So this could be, yeah, again, a counselor or a strong listener. Someone that gives uh, adequate advice. Um, I'm getting a double confirmation. But, um, yeah, someone that's good at giving second opinion or again like good advice let's get into the reading and see what's going on here what's the love messages what do you need to know in regards to current love new love and future energies coming towards you the five of wands conflict big fight hmm difficulties now it's also known as freedom i usually leave that out with me being a life path five um it's all about freedom hmm. And you know you have to fight for freedom, right? You always have to, you know, in order to obtain the things that you want, you always, you always have to go through some sort of a difficulty. So you could be experiencing some sort of a conf conflict or you're experiencing this, right? Maybe you're witnessing that this could be the energy coming towards you or the energy of the person that's coming towards you. They're in conflict. The Knight of Swords showing up as the Queen of Swords is under the deck. So yeah, there's information, some sort of a communication mm -hmm, coming towards you. Maybe an acknowledgement or something like that. The Knight of Swords is known as a talker, right? Very um, abrasive with their words, very action-oriented. It's a messenger though, coming in on that white horse. Maybe someone wants to sharpen swords with you. Yeah, uh, meeting you halfway, three of wands, communication. So there's definitely communication coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Someone has something to say. Maybe they actually want to come towards you. This may even be like face to face. Maybe someone wants to have some sort of a correspondence with you face to face, right? We know how things can get even worse, misconstrued uh, through text message. Um, emails over the phone you know those different types of things your fourth message is the eight of swords Ooh, this is bothering someone or they've been constantly thinking about this right this is the echo chamber car or a uh, mental prison car so someone's been holding back something they've been wanting to say <laughs> um I don't even think this person necessarily uh, has been holding it back or wanted to hold it back. Maybe they've been trying to, they, maybe they on their end has been trying to deliver this message, but it hasn't been received like a missed text message or a missed call or something like that. Or they wanted to communicate with someone online, but maybe they got blocked or whatever the case may, may be. Or the person that they're trying to find online is not, it's not online. Let's go ahead and get the fifth message for the first row, Ace of Cups. This is in regards to love here or intuition. But it's the Ace of Cups. It's uh, it's love. It's a Holy Grail. It's the start of something new. All Aces are the start of something new, a new opportunity. And Cups represent our love, number one, right? Our intuition and uh, our, even our health. So yeah. Hmm. With the first card out, Five of Wands, Conflict, Knight of Swords, Three of Wands, Eight of Swords, and Ace of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone's been wanting to talk to you. I'm getting exposed. Someone's been wanting to talk to you or communicate this Ace of Cups to you or their true feelings. Okay. They've been wanting to, um, I'm getting executed as well. There's a lot of random ass words um, springing forth through this reading at this time. I just saw 1331. And I usually don't call out those types of synchronicities, like the reversals. It reminds me of something, I did a channel message yesterday when I ran through the tarot in regards to what's the purpose of the connection between you and your person. And it was like, um, in one of the readings, it was actually a very positive reading. It was, um, I said something about a math problem, but um, how two negatives come together and create a positive. Now that's an oxymoron, right? Because two wrongs don't make it right. But you know, maybe um, an example is someone has like a bad attitude or they're bad at communicating and um, <laughs> they come, but they can communicate with other people that understand that type of communication. Yeah, like someone that's rude that over talks people, right? They don't see it as being rude. So that they, so then they get into a union with someone that has the same type of personality. It reminds me of the New York Stock Exchange, right? Or uh, if you ever worked in a call center, sales, like heavy sales driven, how everyone's just yelling over each other. But like no one's bothered because that's what they do all the time, right? Yeah, I saw this one when I was growing up, this one uh, MTV show where it was like this Latina, like she was, she, you know, she wasn't like a 10, 
but she was pretty and her dude yeah he wasn't the best looking person but he was a regular right um he just didn't have the best looks and his woman she she had Tourette's she had Tourette's syndrome she had a bad attitude she was always negative this dude likes to make his own personal salads every day. I think he's cutting up uh, garlic. So garlic may be, um, may uh, be something for you guys. Maybe you need to eat more garlic. But yeah, and it was funny because at the time, I was a teenager looking at this relationship like, why is she with this dude? But even then, and I, and I, and I can, it even reconfirms now, I'm like, yeah, like, who would be willing to deal with a woman like that regardless of how pretty she looks? That badass attitude that she talks, she curses like a sailor. That's crazy. And like she, uh, uh, next, <laughs> next. <laughs> Let's go ahead and um, clarify the five of wands. We're in our second row. I'm not sure how many rows we're gonna do, right? The wheel of fortune shows up, karma, five of wands. So yeah, if you put in the work, you'll be able to get your just dues. I'm not sure what the current message is at this time though, but the Wheel of Fortune for me symbolizes an abundance, right? Maybe a celebrity, a jackpot, right? Maybe someone's gambling. This could even be something viral as well as someone's on social media. Ooh, this might be a proposal in front of a bunch of people. So I'm not sure if someone has been, um, if someone has been like um, pressured into marriage or something like that or someone's ex ex expecting some sort of a marriage okay so it's starting to come together i'm not sure what type of conflict this is but yeah maybe someone's been waiting on a marriage proposal or they've been going over mulling over in their head how they want to proceed with some sort of a i don't know if this is money but it's coming off as a marriage proposal as for right now that's my wedding ring card right the wheel of fortune which fulfillment for most women that grow up thinking that they're gonna become some Disney princess one day, right? Ace of Cups, more power to you, right? You have to manifest it, all right? Don't think the sky is supposed to fall for you. Let's see. The Sun card, ooh. You got double wish fulfillment. First three, you had the Ace of Cups, which is satisfaction. That's wish fulfillment in regards to love and emotions. And then the Wheel of Fortune, wish fulfillment. And then the Sun, wish fulfillment. Enlightenment, revelation, childlike joy, um, sense positivity on a card, right? Illumination, right? It could be enlightenment for some, an aha moment. Like I said, this may even, yeah, I'm getting TikTok here with the Knight of Swords. It could be a viral video for those that are online, Instagram, or whatever the case may be, Facebook. Yeah. So there's some sort of a highlight coming towards you. Again, this may even be a marriage proposal online, or maybe, I don't know, maybe someone's recording a marriage proposal and it's gonna go viral online. Uh-oh. Got my wired headset. Don't drop the ring, dog. <laughs> That's a bad omen, right? You go to put the ring on her finger and then you drop it. <laughs> uh, the Page of Swords. Education. So this could be either curiosity, depending on the mindset, or this could be spying, right? It is my sticky notes card, taking notes, right? The person is so interested in you that they're just spying on your social media. What does it come on top of? The three of wands? Communication. Maybe someone, I'm not, mm, I don't want to say that they're bad at communication here. It could just be shyness here. Or naivety. me of the 90 mm, is it 90 day fiance yeah here, go, here goes more stories um, at least I'm not using my own personal testimony <laughs> get to know your reader day right? <laughs> there is an actual tarot day um, yeah there, there's actually a national tarot day but yeah so on that show 90 day fiance I'm pretty sure most of you don't even watch the show there's a couple and I talked about them before it's this Caucasian dude and um, a Filipina uh, chick and they're quite young like he's like a young gamer he moved to like uh, the Philippines to marry her right and he doesn't necessarily have a visa so he can't work so she's the one like she's pregnant and she works um, and she wants him to step up basically and then the day they got married right the relationship isn't terrible they're just young right young and naive that's what it reminds me of like she's I don't, I don't think she's a good communicator um, but him um, 
yeah, they got married and all that type of stuff. And it wasn't even it wasn't even the next day. This guy had already lost the ring. <laughs> so it just goes back to oh, proposing, and before you could put the ring on someone's finger, you drop the ring. What is going on here? Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. What what's the anxiety here? What's the mental prison here in regards to this? Because uh, it looks like a, a lot of positivity here, and I may be reading it wrong. So let's get it. Nine of Pentacles, slow moving offer, yeah, an engagement. Now, this could also be indicative of someone or some sort of a financial freedom or financial independence as well, as we have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, independence. Someone may be getting counseling or getting cultured in the realm of finances as well. The Eight of Swords, it reminds me of someone saving a lot here. I'm not sure um, if they're literally saving or if they're in, they're doing like smart investing. I wonder if that's a term that's, that, that has been created in finance yet, you know? We string together these series of words it's, instead of oh you know what you know what it reminds me of the fire movement right instead of investing into a savings account you invest all of your money into stocks right and dividends and funds and crypto and all that type of stuff right which i, I think i kind of have half the mind to believe that if not millennials that's going to be the wave of the future right we don't want to just let your money just sit in the bank of course it doesn't disappear but Home. We want our money to work for us, right? It better be doing something. So instead of putting that $1,000 you made from work into a freaking savings account, you're going to put it into the stock market. Um, you're going to put it into the stock market or something like that, right? And whenever you need money, you just request a payout. I actually did something like that during 2020. I tested that out see how it works. It was actually not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and clarify... Uh, the Ace of Cups, this love here, this new opportunity, this satisfaction and wish fulfillment. This could also be someone's intuition firing up, right? Uh, a brand new artist, right? This could, hmm, okay, so I'm getting a channel message. Someone's deep in some deep dark corner somewhere. Let me stop playing. Someone is um, creating new music, obviously, or someone's creating some sort, of, some sort of a new art here, basically. So I'm not sure if that's you, if you're resonating with that message. Right, could also be the person that you're uh, in a relationship with, getting engaged to or married, right? Yeah, mm, yeah, you're marrying an artist. Mm -hmm. Or either again, you're witnessing this, right? Marrying someone's potential, are we? We have the Two of Cups on top, top of Ace of Cups. So overall, it's a very positive message. We have relationship here. Hmm. which comes out on top of Ace of Cups, satisfaction. So this, this relationship is bringing you satisfaction. These friendships and these connections, maybe your networking is bringing you satisfaction or it's going to add to your success here in the long run. It's like the building blocks to your future. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go down to the third row. Let's go ahead and clarify the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands, Two of Swords. Hmm. Block communication, crossroads, and indecision with the Wheel of Fortune. I would say if you are signing new contracts, whether it's business or pleasure, right? Romance or some sort of a jackpot winnings or findings, right? Even taxes, I'm getting taxes for whatever reason. You want to um, make sure you have accurate uh, representation or accurate knowledge, right? You have an understanding of what's going on here. Is there something that you don't see or something that may go over your head, you know? Go again, this person that's coming towards you, right? You ever had a drunk person hand you a, a, a wad full of money? I did. <laughs> they better be lucky I'm a nice, young, honest, truthful person, right? <clears throat> what happened? I think I spoke about this um, in several readings uh, on my old channel. So about two years ago, it was about 12 in the afternoon, and I had just come from the, um, the store, like, um, buying me some lunch. I was going to go home and cook. And um, yeah, right before I got like uh, to the street that my house was on, like there was a there was a Bank of America. I thought I was passing this parking lot, and it was an old woman. She had to be in her 70s. She was face down in the concrete with two orange. I think I guess she fell out of her truck or whatever. And yet um, there was like money just flying all over the parking lot, right? And I was literally the only person around, like, and I couldn't believe no one saw this lady. Someone had had to see this lady, but no one was around. And if someone did see her inside one of these stores, no one came out of the store to go help this woman, right? And if I was any other type of dude, someone's grandmom would have had a loss that day, right? 
So I picked this old woman up from off of the floor and I got her two manila envelopes, two big man manila envelopes that was stuffed full of money. Just a bunch of $20 bills, $50 bills, and $100 bills, right? She had to have, it, it had to be uh, like 10, 20 grand. Um, yeah, it was like well, cash is blowing all over the parking lot. I'm like running over the parking lot, running around the parking lot, picking the money up for her. And, um, yeah, there was many opportunities outside of her vision because she fell face first into the ground. She probably had a concussion. She probably didn't know where she was. And if I hadn't came, she probably would have still been face down on the floor for like another, I don't know how long. And uh, I got her up. I made sure she was okay. I even asked her, I'm like, why do you have so much money? One of her uh, kids um, was... Um, about to get ready to finish paying off their house or something like that and she gave them the rest of the money that she was going to give them the rest of the money that they needed to pay off their house and i'm just thinking in my head who has their mother out here like this or who has their grandmother or their auntie out here in a parking lot like this that's crazy so you know still waiting on that good karma to come around <laughs> let me stop so yeah, that was an interesting one. I think I have the video uploaded onto my Facebook page. I may repost it one day. Or Facebook's gonna be like, you remember this? You know, <laughs> you remember this? I've been on Facebook since um, I graduated high school, so it's been about 18, 19 years, a long time, right? Who remembers MySpace? We have the Four of Wands. Yeah, so someone wants to communicate with you about a family. For some of you guys in business, this is a storefront or some sort of a new creation of a storefront. I'm not sure if someone wants to decorate like a new storefront with you. And yeah, and, and other of you guys, yeah, you newlyweds, you know, you guys, it's it's someone trying to communicate with you guys in regards to um, this new home life you guys are building with each other, right? It's giving me like some level of urgency here with this Knight of Swords. I don't know, someone's trying to get something at a discount or a sale, Wheel of Fortune, Two of Swords. Let's clarify the Page of Swords and the Three of 